Hey, howdy guys, Connor McCaskill here, and today I have with me a full frame Fujifilm X-T4. <laughs> what? Uh, well, okay, not not really. I actually have a normal Fujifilm X-T4 with a speed booster adapter made by Viltrox, but with this adapter, I am able to essentially get the field of view of a full frame camera. It's pretty awesome. So Fujifilm X-T4s, they are an APS-C camera, which means they have a 1.6x crop, which means you take the millimeters of the lens that you're using and then you multiply it by 1.6 and then that is the focal length that you are going to get. Now with this, instead of multiplying it by 1.6, you actually multiply it by 1.1. So essentially you are getting a full frame Fujifilm. That's kind of crazy. Let me go ahead and switch over to the Fujifilm. And now we're shooting on a full frame Fujifilm X-T4. Kinda. I'm just gonna say that it's full frame from now on because I know it's technically not, but it's essentially a full frame. So that's how I'm gonna refer to it. But what else is really cool about having a speed booster on a camera like the Fujifilm X-T4 is that you are actually not only getting a wider field of view from APS-C to a full frame field of view, but you're actually getting more light. So for instance, I am shooting on the Canon 24 to 70 F4 with IS, but because of the speed booster, I'm actually able to stop it down to f2.8 that's insane so i'm actually getting more flexibility with lenses that i already own because i am adapting the speed booster to my xt4 which is awesome another great thing about this viltrox speed booster adapter on the xt4 is that i don't have to sacrifice autofocus the autofocus works in conjunction with the speed booster adapter so as you can see it does seem to seems to work pretty well i haven't noticed it faltering at all. It even works with eye tracking, which is what I am using right now on my X-T4. But that's enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and play some side-by-side -side comparisons with the Viltrox Speed Booster, without the Viltrox Speed Booster, and also showing you the difference between an actual full-frame camera like the Canon EOS R. Of course, I'll have to shoot in 1080 in order to do that, but shooting full-frame on the EOS R and then full-frame on the X-T3 so you can actually see what that 1.1X crop is doing. So without any further ado, let's get to some tests. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little test of this full frame Fujifilm X-T4. Again, it is a 1.1X crop, not a 1.0X crop, which would be true full frame, but it is close enough. And I really enjoyed kind of screwing around with this thing and seeing what it can do. One thing to note is that I did notice that it does vignette especially on a few different lenses. I noticed that while messing around with it at Armando's house earlier while we were shooting some content for him. So definitely keep that in mind. This thing isn't the highest quality thing in the world. It's a little bit cheap. The Viltrox Speed Booster will run you just under $200, I think, which is okay. Definitely say this Viltrox Speed Booster is very useful for people like me, YouTubers who want that wider field of view for these kinds of shots right here. Because typically with a 1.6X crop, this shot wouldn't be possible. I mean, you would be looking at me through a field of view like this big and uh, no one wants to see that. So I definitely think that it has its place and that it's useful. I do recommend that you guys pick one up for your Fujifilm. Now this will work also with your Fujifilm X-T3 if you don't have the X-T4 yet. So definitely consider picking it up if you also have the X-T3. Guys, if you like this full frame Fujifilm X-T4, definitely leave me a like. I really do appreciate it. And also, again, I have a Fujifilm X-T4, so a lot of Fujifilm content coming your way soon. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that content. Thanks for hanging.